am Ashley Lautaha. I started in 2013. I was the third retailer to join the company. I was born in Kailua, Hawaii. My husband was stationed with the Army here in Washington, and Lularo kind of fell into my lap. I saw a friend of a friend wearing a maxi skirt on Instagram. There is nothing more comfortable or perfect than a maxi skirt when you're pregnant, right? There wasn't a way to purchase them online at the time, so I called the company, somehow got in touch with Deanne. She called me out of the blue, wanted to buy a skirt. I said, you know, this is a really great opportunity for you to make money by selling skirts. I told her I had just graduated from college and I had two little kids and I was pregnant. Okay, well, I'm gonna fly out there and I'm gonna see what I can do to help you. She flew up here and taught me how to fold the maxi skirts, put them into a bag so that people could see the patterns. And we would put them in like big Tupperware bins. I would put them in the back of my SUV and take them to people's houses. There are lots of women who still remember me lugging those Tupperware bins around and just being like, what is this thing that you're doing? Like, okay, I'll buy a maxi skirt. A lot of us who joined in the very beginning were of the belief that success is the best recruiting tool, right? Success with your sales speaks for itself. And when you go and you do a pop-up and you sell 40 pieces, 10 women show up and they're all having a great time, the clothing made them feel great. There's an energy there that people want to replicate. These are the things to a successful pop-up. You gotta have music playing, it's gotta be upbeat, fun. And I used to tell them, don't do refreshments. They don't eat them. They're always on a diet. And the goal was to always be making money and also finding new contacts. One of the people that I met was Lindsay Wheeler. I went to this vendor event. I had my little booth set up. She bought a couple of maxi skirts. I set up a pop-up with her. Ashley Lautaha came to my house and did a pop-up. I didn't know anything about the brand. No one in my area knew about it. And it just, the, the wheels started turning. I'm like, man, I wonder if I could do this. Lindsay called me one day and she was like, what do you think about me joining the company? Like, I don't want to step on your toes. And I was like, yeah, girl, go for it. There were more retailers that were saying, well, I kind of want to do that. And I thought, okay, come along, let's do it together. It's going to be so fun. I just make it real simple and easy. Pay us $10 a skirt, sell them for 25. So you get $15 a piece profit not rocket science to sell clothing. And so people wanted to join that. It was like, join the movement. That was a phrase that was shared often. LuLaRoe, for me, it mostly came through women that I had known in high school who were advertising on Facebook and Instagram. Thanks to social media, I can see what they're up to and, and they can market to me. LuLaRoe promised women, if you're unwilling to invest enough of your time, energy, effort, and money, you will get this great payout. So I went and did this party and came home and I handed Doug $300 cash. He's like, what is this? And I said, this is what I just earned selling 30 skirts at this skirt party. And we looked at each other and said, you know what? This might be something we really want to look into doing because it could change our trajectory financially. The first retailers, they just kind of said, well, my husband and I just built a beautiful home, but I want all new furniture. There's no money for that. And so, man, they started hustling. You show up to someone's house and they want you to be on the third floor and you're like, okay, I can do that. I can bring this thousand pounds of clothing up your three flights of stairs. I would be happy to. There was never a time that I left having sold nothing. Maybe I sold two things, but I made some money and I made a contact with someone and I was growing sort of my network. They're telling you there is no limit. The income opportunity is unlimited. The product sells itself. I was selling 
magic leggings that like fit everybody and letting people know why these wild leggings would look fun with a chambray shirt. I didn't know much about the company. I'd been gifted a pair of leggings that were super comfortable and super soft. And I was like, okay, well, these are the best thing I've literally ever felt in my life. I got a black pair of leggings and they were thick and they were soft. And I was like, these are amazing pants. I love them. It did feel buttery soft. The material was super stretchy. It was perfectly fitted to anybody's body. And I just, I fell in love. I felt cute, I felt comfortable. Got into contact with a gal who sold these leggings and I was like, you know, I wanna buy some more. And she was like, oh, okay, well, you know, come on over and buy some. And I'm going, well, how does this work? With LuLaRoe, now the name is getting more and more out there. It's getting more and more uh, popular. We want you to understand and feel secure in talking about your business with other people. Let them know there's opportunities they can make money. I'm the talking to my girlfriends story. and they're kind of going, well, what's the catch? And I'm going, well, I don't think there is one. I mean, you own the inventory. That's not like any other business. People can feel it. They come over, they see it. There's, you know, pricing, they pay right there. I mean, it's literally a store in your own home. There is no catch. 